Question six. It says, Kirsty, Seb, Nina, Jack and Donna belong to a sports club. This table shows the sports they do in one week. So if we have a quick look at the table, we've got the days of the week across the top, Monday to Friday. We've Down the side, we've got the activities that we do, swimming, jogging, cycling. So just to double check, we understand what the table actually means. This square here, if we read all the way across, it shows swimming. So Jack goes swimming. And if we read to the top, it says Wednesday. So this square means that Jack goes swimming on a Wednesday. This square down here, if we read to the side, is for cycling. It's on the cycling row, and it's in the Tuesday column. So this square means that Kirsty and Donna go cycling on a Tuesday. If it's an empty square, it means nobody does that activity on that day, because there are no names in it. So let's have a look what we've actually got to do. First part of the question says, how many of the children do not go swimming? I'm going to use blue for this question. So easiest thing to do is to ha highlight the row for swimming, which is this top row here. Go through the names one by one and see if they appear in that row. And if they do, I'll tick it at the top here. So Kirsty is first. So does she go swimming? Well, she do yes, I can see her there and there. So she definitely goes swimming, so I can tick Kirsty. Now for Seb. Seb, as you can see, does not appear in this row at all, so I'm not going to tick him because he doesn't go swimming. Mina does not appear in this row at all, so she does not go swimming, so I'm not going to tick her. Jack appears there and there, so Jack goes swimming on a Monday and Wednesday, so he definitely goes swimming, so tick him. Donna definitely goes swimming on a Thursday and a Friday, so we can tick her. Now the question says how many of the children do not go swimming? So if we go back to our list, you can see that seven Mina are the children that do not go, and that's two people. It's really important here to realise that it is saying how many, so we're looking for a number as the answer, we're not looking for the names of the children. So it's two people. Second part of the question, I'm going to use red for. It says write the names of all the children who go both jogging and cycling. So this time we're looking for names and they must do both jogging and cycling. So this time I'm going to use red. So we're looking for jogging on this row and we are looking for cycling on this row. And I'm going to use the same technique again. So I'm now going to check for Kirsty. So does Kirsty go jogging? Yes she does. Does Kirsty go cycling on this row? Yes she does. So Kirsty does do both, so I'll tick her. Now let's check for Seb. Seb, is he on the jogging row? Yes, he is. Is he on the cycling row? Yes, he is, on a Friday. So Seb also does both. Mina, let's check Mina for jogging. Mina does jogging there and there. But if you check the cycling row, Mina does not go cycling at all. So she doesn't do both of them. So we, we're not ticking Mina because she doesn't do both. Now for Jack. Jack is on the jogging rope there. And he is also on the cycling rope there. So Jack definitely does both of them. So I can tick him. One last person to check. Donna. Is Donna on the jogging rope? No, she's not. Now, if she's not on the jogging row, that's automatically going to mean that she's not doing both of them, so I can't tick Donna. So, as you can see, the three people I've got ticked are Kirsty, Seb, and Jack. They are the people that do both. So, they are the names that need to get written on this line. Kirsty, Seb, and Jack. And that is the answer to the question. Always make sure with a question like this that you read it carefully and once you think you've got your answers that you double check that your answers fit what you've actually been asked for.